Hi guys, in this video, we're going to learn the DaVinci Resolve 18 or 18.5 and how we can ramp up speed and how actually ramp up the speed smoothly. This is one of the things because uh, I see a lot of videos in which you just have, you can increase the speed from 100 to 200 something. For me. So that is okay, but how we can smooth out that speed is very important. So let's see, we have a clip here where girls are running in the, in the fields and she's running with the same speed. And actually, let's see if you want to change the speed at some point of this clip. Let's see if she's around this point, we want to increase the speed and after the some point we want to decrease the speed and go to the original speed. So there's two ways of, one is you just go there and click the read time control. This is which is with a command for this con command R. So you can just click on this one. It will create this blue arrows in your on your clip. This is going to show you that we can read this clip is ready for playing around, you know. So if, if I do the control Z or I when I do the control command R it will it will I mean it, 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 it will go on. So let's do it with a command R this time and let's bring the clip in the middle. So this clip is right now with original speed which is 100%. It is it's going with that. So let's see if some point at this point as I told you that I want to ramp up the speed. So I'll just go there here and just add a speed point. It will create this point here. And if I move forward here and I just do it again, just add speed point. And now we have a two speed point here from this point to this point. Right now it has 100, 100 speed, everyone, this 100 speed, 100 speed. So I can change individually, individually all of this clip now. So let's see if I want to do this clip for, we have maximum 800 percent. So I go to go there and do it like 200 percent from this clip. You see, this is a bit funny because she's running like that. So we have two other options here. So if you come here, this area, this playhead area, this upper point is where you can increase or decrease your this clip. Like you see, it was 200%. If you move to the right, it is actually decreasing the speed. It's 100% now. And if you move to the left side, it's increasing speed. So let's say if you want to decrease the speed to 150, Let's do the sum here. And and the lower part of this playhead is a different operation. It is actually moving the clip between these two clips. I mean, if I, let's see if I, this, this clip on the right side is 100%. If I want to move it to this side, I can just move it. So this clip is increasing and this left clip is decreasing. So this is a, there's two different function for this. Uh, you can play around with that. So let's play again. There we go, your speed. But the one thing I'm facing right now, this she's running very slow. And let's see if I make it 50% and also make it 50% here. So from slow, slow, slow motion to fast, and then again, slow motion. But I can see one thing, this, this, this moment from this slow motion to the fast is very abrupt. Let's go from this and goes back is really fast real funny and the same goes to the from the fast to the slow clip so there's a very good option the DaVinci results you go to the clip and right click and real-time curve and from this point we need to select another option which is real-time speed so once you click this actually it will show you that how is your clip is actually playing on this you know, on, the, on the on the on the timeline like from this point on, this this the speed is fifty percent, and at once it go to the one fifty percent. It and that's explained that why it's so abrupt. So there is an option for that, so we can smooth out this this, this transition, like going from the fifty percent to fifty one fifty percent, which is slightly smooth, so it does not look very weird. So let's go to this keyframe, and we have selected this keyframe right now. If we select this one which is a little bit curved then it will curve down this this transition and this is this is the area where you can smooth out more you can make it more smoother you can make make it more sharp let's do the same one same thing with the other keyframe and exactly the same function we, we can do with this like smooth it uh, or i can we can just make it more sudden so right now you see this this clip is showing you some slight moment so let's play it right now. 
you see this this now the moment is really smooth and if you want to make it more smooth let's let's make it more slightly bigger area and then this is looking much better so we can increase the speed from this point of course other things as well so this was a little trick guys and hope it will help you in your editing and thanks for your time and i'll see you next time till then if you have any recommendation if you like this video give i mean say in the comment or like this video and consider subscribing if you are into davinci resolve and you want to have more videos like this so i'll see you next time till then stay safe and bye bye